know, I'm sure you've thought about it all, but look, this is just me on record telling you that this is a horrible idea. Okay, I just want you to know that. Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway, but that's not the point here. The point is that you're asking for a potion instead of just talking to them first yourself. <sighs> well, regardless, I'm making an antidote for when you inevitably feel guilty enough to beg me to reverse the effects. Oh, I know you. You'll want to reverse it. Yeah. Yeah, I just figured I'd let you know. You know, since... <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'll stop teasing. But I still think it's a dumb idea when you could just tell them yourself. Yeah, they're here. Why? Oh, no, that's none of your business. Shut up. <sighs> anyway, you're being bothersome. Let me work. And stop asking about that. <sighs> huh? Oh. No, it's nothing. It's just Jambo again. Yeah, this potion's for him. Ah, uh, no, I can't tell you what it is. Patient, potion maker confidentiality, you know? That stuff matters. Uh, doctor, patient, patient, potion maker, it's all the same, isn't it? Same principle applies. <laughs> no, best friend privilege doesn't count here. You're just being nosy, and that doesn't have any weight over a contracted order. So, can't tell you. Hey, stop trying to peek over my shoulder. You just aren't that sneaky, I'm afraid. Even if you were just trying to smell it, which I don't buy for a second, you're still too close. Lab safety is important, you know. So, scooch. You're too close to an open flame. Not to mention you're not wearing any eye protection. Don't even have any long sleeves on. <laughs> well, I'd rather look goofy and bug-eyed than get potion fumes in my eyes. And I don't care how hot it is in here. You should always cover as much skin as possible to avoid burns and contact. This is elementary stuff. I'm sure it probably does smell good. This sort of potion tends to be... Uh, fragrant. Not only that, but it smells different for each person. That might be the coolest part about it. No, it doesn't look quite as good as it smells, does it? Don't worry, it's not done yet. Instead of this kind of greyish sludge, it should be a nice soft pink colour when it's complete. Quite aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, just out of curiosity, what does it smell like to you? Uh, yeah, you can get a little closer, that's fine. Just don't go sticking your face right over the top of it. So, how's it smell? Cedar and grapefruit. Hmm. Interesting combination. And stop smelling it like that. Just, you know, waft it up to your nose. You don't need to huff it like a sharpie. What's wrong with you? Hmm? For me? Uh, I guess... <laughs> um, it smells kind of fruity. Like a strawberry and banana smoothie or something. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, stop distracting me. I've got to get this done. <laughs> no. I swear, no fruit was involved in the making of this potion. At least, not this kind. There are no strawberries or bananas in here. Uh, Do mistletoe berries count as fruit? They probably do, if they're berries, right? Yeah, they're those little white berries in that bowl over there. Commonly used in... Uh, potions of this sort. Hmm. 
Well, okay, you start with your basic alchemy water. It has to be pure and uncontaminated or else you'll end up with an ineffective and probably dangerous potion. So, just to be safe and ensure that everything is as pure as it can be, you should be brewing between 70 and 80 degrees centigrade. What else? Uh, there's nothing too crazy. Rose hips, honey, dried jasmine flowers, a few different types of oil too. Mm hmm, it's the best way to get the essence of the ingredient. Like almond oil. All the desired effects, none of the flaky powder to deal with. <laughs> well, stop interrupting then. I'll never be able to finish explaining this if you keep talking. <laughs> Right. Where was I? Ah, oh, yeah. Once all of the ingredients have been introduced in these precise amounts, it needs to sit for exactly 4 minutes and 23 seconds. Yeah, I know it seems arbitrary. But this is a science, you know. Alchemy is the root of modern chemistry. You need to be precise and exact, or something will go wrong. Which is why I'm always on you about distracting me. I need to focus. Some potions are more difficult than others, you know. Hmm. Well, once it's sat for the right amount of time, then you stir nine and a half times anti-clockwise before lowering the heat to 60 degrees centigrade. Then after six more minutes, stir thrice clockwise, add six ounces more of water, and let sit for 13 and a half minutes, stirring occasionally, which is what I'm doing now. Hence, I'm talking to you instead of focusing like I should be. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Go sit down so I can prepare to finish this off. I need space for this bit. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Um, now I'll just... <sighs> right. Perfect. And then... Uh, good. Yeah, good. Uh, hmm. Right. Okay. Now that's finished. I've just got to bottle it up and start on the antidote. You're right over there. Sure. You want a drink or something? Strawberry milk. <laughs> sure. Just give me a second to bottle this up and I'll fetch you a glass. Uh, fuck am I? Uh, damn. I've run out of small jars. Time to improvise, I guess. <sighs> hey, I'm uh, running to the fridge real quick. Would you mind rinsing out this cauldron? Just some hot water to prevent residue building up. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, here. Yeah. I'll help you dry that. It's a bit heavy, isn't it? Yeah, we can just hang it back up. Huh? Oh, right. Yeah, your drink's over there on the counter. Hmm? Spoiled? No, it shouldn't be. I just bought it two days ago. It tastes funny. Fuck. Uh, which, uh, which glass did you pick up? The, the one on the left. Uh, um, okay. Uh, can I just see that a moment? <laughs> oh, oh boy. Um, <clears throat> well, that's my fault for using the same type of jar I use for drinkware. Uh, rookie mistake on my part there, yeah, yeah I deserve this. Uh, well, you see, uh, I suppose it might be my fault, actually. Yeah, definitely my fault. Oh, God. Uh, no, that's, that's not the milk glass. No. <sighs> yeah, the, uh, the milk was in the glass on the right, not the left. No, 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 no. Please don't freak out. Look, it's it's fine. 
all right, it's fine. It's uh, it's going to be fine. It's nothing harmful. I mean, come on, it's for Jambo. Uh, do you really think I'd brought him something nefarious? Absolutely not. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. Which isn't very... Huh? What kind of... Uh, what kind of potion was it? Um, well, you see... I know I have to tell you now. It's just... Well... Jambo... They... <sighs> right, well, I'll get to the point. Um, it might be... A minor... Love potion? <laughs> no, no, don't freak out. I swear, it's, it's only a weak one. It's very dilute. You'll probably be fine. I'll just administer the... Antidote. Yeah... The one I haven't brewed yet. Ah, oh, gods. What have I done? Um, no, I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just, gods, this is so embarrassing. You'll just have to bear with it for a while, while I get the antidote made. Shouldn't be more than eight hours or so. Yes, eight. Look. Why don't you just sit down for a moment while I figure this out, okay? Just... Yeah. God, I'm a horrid friend. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll figure this out, okay? Just, uh, let me know if you feel uncomfortable at all, yeah? I'll do what I can to help with the onset and the symptoms. <laughs> no, you won't die. Don't worry about that. Like I said, it's a minor love potion. You might feel... A little itchy or hot because of it, but it won't kill you. No, please. You don't need to help. Just stay there and relax. I'll get this sorted out, alright? And once that's done, I'm gonna go and punch Chambo in their stupid face. Maybe worse. Who knows? <sighs> Maybe you can help with that if you want. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. This may be my fault for the glass mixer, but it's their fault for asking for such a thing in the first place. Although, I did agree to make it. But I also plan to make an antidote, so how much of it can really fall on me? I'll cast blame on Jambo. He'll be getting an earful from me. But for now, just take it easy, alright? Okay. How are you feeling? Any discomfort? Do you need anything? <sighs> yeah, of course I'm worried about you. I mean, I accidentally roofied you with a love potion. In what world would I not be worried? Yeah, because you're my best friend. Obviously I care about you. Oh, so... You don't feel any different? At all? Hmm. Interesting. No. No, it's just that... Well, by now, the potion should have kicked in, and you should have started feeling some... changes. Yeah. You know. Redness in your face. Shortness of breath. Heart pounding. All that sort of stuff. Like when you have a really painful crush on someone. Those silly, involuntary physical reactions you can't control or hide. You're really not feeling any of that? Not at all? Hmm. Interesting. I mean, did I... <laughs> nah. I kind of brewed it wrong. There's no way. I did everything down to the letter. So, why... Even if it's a minor potion, it still has some strong effects. So the fact that it isn't working at all is odd. I mean, I did everything exactly right. Look, it's all here. I mean, no, I'm not... Why would I be disappointed? <laughs> That'd be... I mean, why would I want you to... Oh, just disappointed that the potion doesn't work properly. Well... Yeah, I guess. I guess I am. 
but that's a good thing for you, right? I mean, you're not falsely confessing your undying love for me, or whatever. I mean, no, that's not... That wouldn't be bad, per se. It's just... We're friends, aren't we? Exactly. And friends shouldn't necessarily expect, you know, a confession like that, right? Yes, necessarily. Why? I don't understand. What does that mean? Not necessarily, but sometimes? You're not making any sense. <laughs> Is the potion finally kicking in? I mean, your cheeks are kind of red now, and you're looking a little flustered. And, uh, you know, you're, you've gotten kind of close to... No. Then what? Oh. Oh. Okay. You mean you... Wow. Uh, just... Wow. Me? Are you sure? I mean, uh, are you sure this isn't just the potion? I don't want to accept any feelings if they're not... Oh, uh, I... Okay, then. I believe you. You really love me. Like, not just because of the potion. Because, you know, maybe we should wait to have this conversation until after the antidote is done and you can clear your... No, I'm not an idiot. I just... I mean, I didn't want to hope for something if... Well, you know, if it wasn't reciprocated. Yes, you dummy. I love you too. Have for a long time. You haven't noticed? <laughs> really? Uh, I thought it was kind of obvious. I wasn't trying to hide it. I just thought that you weren't interested. Since, well, I hadn't noticed anything. I mean, we're just the same as we've always been. Well, I know that now. Don't tease me. You're just as oblivious as I am. Yeah, you are. You said you didn't... <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. <clears throat> well, regardless of your feelings, I still want to brew that antidote. Just to be safe. No. No, it's not like that. I believe you. I mean, clearly I do. I just want to be safe and prevent any discomfort for you. Yeah, because I care about you and I love you. Don't make that face. Like, as much as I would love to just sit and kiss you and hold you all afternoon, I do need to make that antidote. <laughs> yes, I'll tell Jambo the deal's off. Although, I'm still going to try to weasel payment out of him for the trouble. But he can go confess like a normal person, like I told him to do in the first place. Should pay me for a relationship advice, maybe. <laughs> what was that for? Alright, fine. I did the exact same. Just short of using a potion on you. You got me there. But, no need to be an ass about it. <laughs> I would never be so stupid as to give you a potion instead of confessing. Of course I wouldn't. It's like a huge breach of trust. Not to mention, a bit creepy. I mean, could you imagine? Coercion isn't cool. And the power dynamic kind of gives me the creeps. Like, I would be in complete control of your feelings. I'd be manipulating you. It just feels wrong. Yeah, not to mention, none of it would actually be real. And, I mean, you wouldn't be consenting to anything. And consent's the most important thing. 
but never feel so entitled to your feelings. I'm just thankful that you like me too. That's better than I could have hoped for. Actually, now that I think about it, I need to beat up Jambo a little extra. This is already gross of him. I mean, come on. No matter how much you like someone, you shouldn't force feelings onto them, magic or no. I'm never making a love potion again. <sighs> right. I'm going to finish up that antidote. Then we can have a chat about all this. <laughs> How does that sound? Good. I think so too. Uh, just one more. Okay. We can pick this up later when I'm done, alright? Then we can go and have a little chat with Loverboy. Good. And hey, I love you. <laughs> <laughs>